Meanwhile, back at P6, Dr. Busby has a result. I would say that, that, uh, that this whole area is slightly contaminated. This would suggest that this contamination will have got elsewhere too, maybe into the river. So what does the contamination mean to the people who still live in the area? Is it still dangerous? I would feel most of the risk was in the past. But having said that, I wouldn't be too keen to disturb the surface. It would be quite, in my opinion, best to just leave it be and, and not do anything more with it. Just let it, let it remain here as a folly to, to man's um, production of nasty substances. I would be inclined to just seal it all up and leave it. Dr. Busby's research is only in its early stages, and North Wales Health Authority strongly dispute his findings. They refuse to take part in this program, but in a statement, the authority told us they would be conducting their own investigation into the matter. But everyone is agreed that the site should not be disturbed. Yes, the site is polluted, and yes, you could dig it up and take it somewhere else, but effectively, you're just moving the pollution you've got here to somewhere else and the consensus within the established bodies who monitor these things was that you know it's here, leave it alone and monitor. And that's what we're doing. Research into newer and more dangerous weapons may have helped to win the war, but the legacy of these empty buildings lives on. After a full day on the site, David still feels bitter about his father's untimely death and the secrecy surrounding it. I don't blame anybody for it, but uh, perhaps if there is any blame attributed, I blame fe people for trying to keep secrets. It's the secrecy behind it at the time. Not now, I mean the people here now, the, you can't blame them. But at the time, uh, perhaps if people had been more open, uh, safeguards could have been given. They may well have killed my father. I want people to put their hands up and say, this is what happened and this is why it happened and this is what we're going to do about it. It's a legacy which should now be sorted out um, for the people of Rudimimim, without a doubt, because they have to live with that, knowing that their relatives have lived there, knowing their relatives have been hurt in the past during accidents there and since died and they're just left with nothing at all other than this legacy and this, let's be honest, it's a bit of an eyesore. I think that it would be very helpful if more information was in the public domain, then at least it could, would be all put in perspective. Um, however, uh, from what we have heard, the, the types of pollutant that could be produced there are potentially highly toxic. The government is now spending nearly three million pounds tidying up and monitoring the site. They're not cleaning it up entirely, but villagers now feel they can rest a little easier. I do not believe that it poses any problem to the rest of the community at all as it stands just now. I think we can be much more assured of its safety now that uh, after all these consultations have been made over the last few years. And we appreciate that so long as it is left still, the site is perfectly safe in that sense, um, and we have to live with it. A police force are heading the drive to improve the skills of the men and women who patrol the roads of Wales. They practice how to deal with the worst conditions before they take to the streets. But more and more police officers are involved in tragic accidents. Wales This Week investigates. <laughs>